Saturday the 14th of October and I'm up in Scotland for another walk. I'm up in uh, Kinloch Leven and I'm doing two Munros today, possibly four. Uh, we're doing uh, Score, Eldermore and uh, Binnenbeg as an initial two and then possibly the other two to the left hand side of it uh, dependent on how it goes. I don't have a route to uh, to do those two from these two but if I can get across to them then I'll, I'll do them which I think is these two up here so uh, yeah uh, it's supposed to be a nice day today the sun's coming out it's not supposed to be any rain touch wood we'll see what happens we can you can never go by the weather forecast as Frank found out last uh, last Saturday when he'd done the break traverse and it was supposed to be a 90% cloud free day and it wasn't it was probably a 10% cloud free day so uh, yeah but uh, yeah it's looking good we've got a light light dust in the snow on the uh, on the tops here and there's a definite chill there's a definite chill in the air I did start off with a uh, with a warm jacket on but uh, just got hot straight away but uh, now I've stopped you can uh, you can really feel the, uh, the chill in the air so I think I'll be going back on a bit higher up um, the uh, wind chill factor is supposed to be about minus eight minus nine up on top a bit different from last time I was up last time was uh, towards the end of August and uh, when I was up in Glen Affric and uh, yeah it was uh, a bit warmer then um, yeah it got light about started getting light about quarter past seven this morning uh, yeah and it gets dark about 20 to 7 so um, yeah we better get get going and uh, I'll come back to you a bit further up okay cheers so we've just come along this path up from the car park and we come to this cairn big cairn here you can't miss it uh, and we carry on up here this would be the path we take when we come come back down so we don't take that path, we come back down this way. Uh, yeah, I can hear the uh, hear the deer up in the hills. Can't see them, but uh, you hear them calling out every now. Oh, there they are. Maybe if you can make them out just over there. I'll take a picture with my phone, I'll be able to zoom in a bit more. But uh, yeah, the sun's coming up. Lovely. Oh, look at that beautiful beautiful day so uh, yeah let's uh, carry on and uh, I'll come back to you in a bit first target for the day scored them all uh, 1010 meters I think so uh, Paul did say about um, branching around the lock and here and heading up the shoulder this side but uh, didn't look a very inviting route from up there so uh, this is the actual Hawk Islands route so we head up there then we come down and then that's the second Munro Binnenbeg so uh, we just branch off down here, you can make out the path just going up there, apparently it's not a very good path, it's very slippery and scree but uh, we'll see when we get there, so uh, yep a bit of a uh, bit of clag coming in over there uh, a little clear here but uh, yeah it's very cold, hands are starting to go a bit numb, I've got some gloves in my rucksack so I might have to get those out in a minute, so uh, yeah so right, let's get going, I'll come back to you later on. Cheers. Right, that's me on top of Skull Up Hill de Moor. Uh, 1,010 metres. Uh, that was hard going. 
nearly two months since I've been up here and the legs were feeling it. So, uh, yeah, a bit of snow burning. Oof, hats and gloves on. It's really freezing up here today. Uh, sun's out. Great views. So, yeah. It's, uh, the other memoirs over there, is it? Maybe? Not too sure. But, uh, yeah, flag's coming in a little bit, so uh, hasn't reached over here yet. But uh, we'll see. Let's see what happens. So, all right, let's grab a quick bite to eat, and uh, I'll uh, come back to you in a bit. All right, cheers. <laughs> So the path goes just around here and then snakes around up onto the ridge up here and then we make our way along the ridge up to the summit. So uh, yeah, there's a real chill in the air when the wind gets up. Really, uh, really quite cold. Uh, I've got gloves and a hat. So uh, yeah, so that's where we were. Score Eldermore. Go there more. Let's come down from there and then we head up there. So, right, let's get going. I'll come back to you in a bit. Right, so, bit of a disaster. So, this is my map. This triangle is me there. Bin and Beg is over there. I've been going in completely the wrong direction since I've come down from Scott Eldermore. Somehow I've ended up walking back this way. I should have gone to the right. Ah, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh dear. So, looks like I've got to backtrack and uh, go the right way. There is that up there, which I guess is Bin and Moor, which is 1130 metres. But then there'll be a big drop down to go across to Bin and Beg. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that's, uh, that's an option. So, looks like I'll make my way back over to the, uh, over to the little lock in there, and then we go down, down there, down the, uh, down the glen, and up to there. <sighs> All right, come back to you in a bit. So, now I'm back on the right path, basically, made my way down back over to here and then came down here and then we're on the path here which leads up to Bin and Beg up there. But, uh, got some deer up there you can make them out just there. There's a stag up there by the looks of it with these females. Uh, yeah. Looks like he's watching me, looks like he's looking this way. Uh, yeah so when I went the wrong way I did look at the possibility of going up going up here and round and coming down to pick up this path but I think it was the right decision just to backtrack a bit and uh, yeah get on the right path so uh, yeah right oh sun's out now it's nice and warm okay I'll come back to you in a bit so here we are at the base of uh, Bin and Beg looks quite steep yeah, looks like legs are killing me. This is, uh, <sighs> there's Bidden Moor over there I believe, which I was heading to. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I feel absolutely shattered. Really lost my uh, whole fitness this time. Uh, right, let's get going, get up there, get it done. This is me on top of Bin and Beg. 
900 and some odd meters. I'll check. Uh, that was a real struggle coming up there. My legs are just heavy, dead. Don't feel quite right either, but uh, yeah, very hard work. So uh, we were, uh, I was thinking of doing all oh, the other two, which is that one up there, Bin and Moor, which is uh, 1130 meters, which is where I was actually heading when I went the wrong way. So uh, yeah, but uh, it's about two o'clock now. So um, it gets dark by, by seven o'clock it's pitch black. So um, it's quite a long walk out. So uh, yeah, I think if we attempted that one and the other one on the way back, then uh, yeah, we'd be walking down in the dark. So I do have a torch with me, but uh, yeah. Uh, the way I've struggled with these two, uh, just just be a mistake. So that will that will probably be the plan for tomorrow to do those two tomorrow. I'll stay in Kin Kinlock Levin again and uh, do those two tomorrow, hopefully. So uh, right, just gonna head back now. So literally got drop down again. Quite a big drop down between these two, and we we're up by the lock in there. So uh, yeah, but very. Very changeable weather. We have snow, it gets cold, and the sun comes out and it gets warm. Sunshine on the hills over there. Uh, yeah, lovely. So, right, I'm gonna get going now and I'll come back to you later on. All right, cheers. Uh, the snow is coming down now, it's quite heavy. Should probably get my uh, waterproof jacket out, but I can't bother. I'm absolutely shagged. Snow, it's more like hailstones. <laughs> oh, right, okay, carry on. See you later. So, five minutes ago it was hailstones. <laughs> now it's like lovely sunshine. Good old Scottish weather. Oh, and now I'm too hot because I, I resisted putting my coat on and then it started hailstones and it like last went on and went, went on for a bit. Oh, so I'll get the jacket out. And then, literally, like a minute or two later, it stopped. So I'm, now I'm hot, and I've got this on, so, anyway, come back to you later. So it's me back at the van now, um, yeah, what a day, struggled like anything, stopped a lot, um, just going uphill, legs were aching, heavy, uh, yeah, had no real go in them, so, uh, yeah, just uh, one of those off days, I think, but, uh, yeah, just the two done today. I had looked at getting the other two two in to make four today, but um, yeah, it was, uh, it was hard going, so uh, rather than like push myself to try and get up there and uh, make things worse, uh, hopefully a good night's sleep and uh, a bit of food and that, and I'll be uh, right as rain tomorrow. So um, yeah, so I'll come back to you tomorrow, check the weather and everything and see how I feel when I wake up in the morning, and uh, yeah, I'll come back to you then. All right, cheers.